Hello, today I'm mostly going to be working on the Land Rover. Uh, we're doing a little bit of housework, do some decorating. So in between all of the decorating work, popping out and actually spending a bit of time on the on the Land Rover. So I've got a couple of ideas that, that I want to try out today um, while I've got a bit of time. One is to get solar power to charge up the leisure battery and then second to that is to put in a box unit to put radios in so I can keep a radio fastened into the vehicle. Right, so this is the leisure battery. Um, at the moment I'm having to charge this up uh, from home using a you know just a normal uh, 12 volt battery charger but the plan is to use a solar panel into a charge controller uh, to charge this up so I'm also going to be putting onto here a, a box unit for the radio to sit in so that I can operate it from this back seat so this is it's just a little storage unit I got off uh, one of the auction sites it's just the right size to fit the 897 fits in quite well there we go it even fits in the 7 IC7200 but with the IC7200 it sticks out a little bit the handles stick out but the 7200 can fit in as well and the idea is to put this I've put a couple of holes in the back as well the idea is to have that fastened on there uh, I'm in two minds where we get a swivel mount so we can swivel it round but I'm going to fasten it there um, I'll probably paint it as well and then the radio can sit inside then um, what I'll need to do is, uh, so you've got these little flimsy screws in and with the weight of the radio inside here I'm going to put a couple more self tapping screws in just to make it a bit more rigid a couple of these plates but these plates will actually sit on top Two of these plates um, and then bolt this from the from the inside up through these plates It's not pretty <clears throat> um, liquor paint over that, that'll be fine. The a bolt that way into the box and then get a nut inside the box and fasten it from inside the box. But what I don't want is, um, I don't want the bolts to be sticking down too much and, and then catching the radio if the radio bounces at all inside. So I'm gonna try and use the shortest shorty spots that I've got right. hopefully that will do the job I need to get in from that way and try and uh, fasten it in I forgot it's actually Sunday and I need to wear a fancy hat actually it's because the sun's beating down on me I'm going to get burnt so I just grabbed a nice fancy hat um, I'll tell you what getting these Brackets on and feeding the um, nut and the washer on is a faff, really frustrating, faffy type job. I'm not much of a, um, I'm not much of a DIY handyman kind of tinkering type of person anyway. And I get frustrated quite easily, 
so I find myself getting frustrated when things don't um, work first time just need to breathe and enjoy the moment of tinkering with your own motor tinkering I think I must rather be on the beach drinking tequila than tinkering anyway right, let's just keep plodding on <clears throat> so I'm using a, a stack of boxes to hold this box up so it saves um, faffing about right let's have a look <laughs> right that's what it's like with the, um, the 7200 in I'll just try and get the light it, it sticks out it sticks out a fair bit it's definitely not something that I can leave in and drive around with because that would just I've, unless I actually bolt this up somehow um, I, I really don't want to take these handles off I could take the handles off this would sit in I quite like these handles but for my grab and go point of view I could just wire this up slide it into place and then um, that it's it's sitting there uh, sitting there quite quite comfortably actually <clears throat> not ideal but I've put the meter SWR meter there power meter I can just about read that right I'm going for this um this cap because I'm gonna get a bit oily so the next job is I noticed the other day that I couldn't use the code reader on the ECU so I couldn't I couldn't use code reader and that might be because the problem I had a few weeks ago with the oil getting into the loom fixed the oil leak cleared most of the oil out of the loom but there might be some oil left in the last bits of oil might have worked the way into the ECU so I'm going to give that one last clean and then clean the connector that the code reader plugs into clean all that off we plug the battery back in and see if the code reader works Right, let's just see if this code reader now works. Um, can't see, it, but uh, okay, Land Rover version blah. Um, Discovery, Discovery 2, Smart Scam. Right, so the, um, the the car the code reader is still not working but I've sprayed the uh, connector with some switch cleaner uh, I'm waiting for that to dry out plug everything back in and see if I can um, use the code reader because that's really frustrating in the meantime and um, this is part of the plan for this this solar charge controller will probably sit there um, these will be wired in uh, and these will connect to connect to the solar panel here the solar panel has already has got a connector for this battery I'll just put this into the shade uh, so this solar uh, panel charges this up normally anyway um, but I, I can then switch it out plug it into these to that and then charge this up that means I can actually run I'll just go around here a minute <clears throat> the idea will be to run this unit here for distribution 12 volts um, and then I can run my radios from that well anything really that needs 12 volts that I want to run from the back of here I've got more control over that so the DC in from this can either be from the leisure battery it can be from the uh, portable power pack right <clears throat> so 
got most of the wires in. What I need to do with this, it's a Victron Energy um, charge controller. I've never used one before. I need to very carefully read the instructions. All I know so far is you don't plug in the solar panel if you haven't got the battery plugged into the controller or else you'll be picking up energy from the solar panel and I have nowhere to put it except for into the con into the controller which won't like it so there's a sequence that I know about but with this uh, Victron I wish it brought me wire strippers out with me rather than faffing about with this I've started so I'll finish uh, there apparently there's a Bluetooth app for this Victron because there's a little bit of setting up that I need to read up on it, it comes with a little booklet and the booklet's about this big and the writing is just it's just crazy crazy sized writing Right, okay, so there's a, and the Bluetooth works quite nicely with it. So I'm getting about 30, about 35 watts on average. Um, charging the battery up. Too early for trends, too early for history. I do like this, this is really, really good. So that's working. I'm not. I'm not very happy about the the wires we've got going to the battery because they're so fat. There's so much tension underneath that area there. I I might replace these with slightly thinner, a bit more flexible, and run them round and in rather than over like this. <clears throat> and uh, I've tried to get. This bloody this self tapper wouldn't go in either. Just get spinning around, so I've got to. Uh, it, it's it's well fastened in that is. But this is my main um, worry is uh, replacing these. We're looking good. So um, yeah, the jobs today were to clean the ECU, clean that out. The code reader still does not read. I need to solve that. Solar charge controller is in, it's working. <clears throat> um, the radio unit box is in and it's painting. Not, not a bad day. All I need now is an adventure to go on and today is not the day for that. Anyway, it's taking me two hours, one cup of tea, two hats. Most of these jobs are done. I should be able now really to last a couple of days with the batteries that I've got on me with the radio equipment in the vehicle as well um, and so yeah quite happy with that okay well thanks for watching next time fingers crossed we'll be out on an adventure bye for now